ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ஜவா எஃபெக்ட்ஸ் ஜிஒய் டுட்டோரியல் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு லேர்ன் அபவுட் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபீல்ட் ஆல்சோ வி வில் சி ஹவ் டு கெட் யூசர் இன் ஃபுட் ஃப்ரம் தீஸ் டூ டெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபீல்ட்ஸ் ஹியர் இன் திஸ் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஃப் யூ சி வி ஹாவ் நம்பர் ஒன் நம்பர் டூ தென் வி ஹாவ் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபீல்ட் சி ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஃப் யூசர் இன்புட்ஸ் டென் அண்ட் ஃபைவ் then once you click add the result will be printed here 15 and and if it is a subtract the result will be 5 so that's what we are going to achieve here in this uh, video so if you see here as usual we create a border pan then we create a grid pan and we align the grid pan towards the center of the border pan then we set padding for our uh, grid pan we since we saw this multiple time padding which is nothing but border these are all the gap between horizontal and vertical component after that in the border pan set center we are giving the grid pan that means in the border pan the center position we are setting our grid pan after this we set scene using the border pan after that we will show the primary stitch that we will do later after adding the control here if you see on the hole we set up the primary stitch with a scene the scene is based out of border pan and in the border pan towards the center we are adding the grid pan next here we are creating the labels first we create two labels number 1 and number 2 you can see that here number 1 number 2 next we create one more label that you cannot see here at this moment which will be at this location then we set font for this empty label and the font is 20 in size and the font family is verdana after that we set blue color for this font i mean for this label so we use this label to display the add and subtract result so here we create a two button one is for add and another one is for uh, subtract so let's uh, divide this uh, and if you see this is a column indexes 0 1 2 and row index 0 1 2 3 now we have all ui nodes ready that means a two label i mean three label and uh, two button i think we haven't yet created the text box we will do that now so here we are creating a text field with the empty constructor there are two text field and we are referencing it as txt number 1 txt number 2 next uh, if you see lbl n1 lbl n1 is here number 1 number 1 we are adding it to the grid pan we are giving column index of 0 this one then row index of 0 so number 1 is added here then number 2 column index 0 row index 1 this is a number 2 column index 0 row index 1 then txt number 1 and txt number 2 these are all the text field and if you see here the column index is 1 and row index is ranging from 0 and 1 so column index is 1 row index 0 and row index 1 so this is how we add our uh, two text boxes then we add a lbl result column index 0 and row index 2 so here i marked it wrongly that means we added it like this 
so i'll build result column index uh, zero and row index is two after that we add two button column index zero and row index three that means uh, this is the add button column index zero row index three then for a subtract button we are providing column index as two this one and row index as three and the subtract button is added here so by using the combination of border pan and grid pan we achieved this farm design and at this stage all controls are added to the uh, grid pan and we know that a grid pan is already sitting in the center of the border pan next we set title to our stitch and we will show it so here at this stage the form or the stage is ready with all the ui nodes now we will perform the add and subtract operation so as we already saw we are simply making call to set an action after that here we are using the anonymous inner handler event handler action event and here is the handle override inside if you see we are making use of the get text method so the get text will return whatever user typed here so if it is 10 it will return 10 in the since he, this is a get text method it returns 10 in a string format so we are parsing that as integer then we are type casting it i mean we are parsing that as integer and we are storing that in the integer variable x and y so in x so this one we are storing it in x and this one we are storing it in y then if i seen for lbl result which will be somewhere here dot set text x and y are integer right so first we are summing up then the summed result we are giving it to two string integer dot two string that's what we are uh, calling two string will return string form of added number then using the set text we are setting the text to the label the same way we will perform the action event for subtract also and we do the same thing only difference is we will subtract this time all right now we will go to the demo and implement this uh, uh, implement this uh, text field example so here is our uh, java fx uh, examples now we will copy the previous example and do a refactor paste and we will name it as okay i am clearing the example from our previous video and clearing all unused imports So we set up our border pan as well as grid pan then we positioned our grid pan towards the center of the border pan after that we set 
our scene with this uh, border pen. So label we already created in our uh, previous videos. Font also we already did. So imported all the required packages. Here, if you see, we create a two text field. So text field is from JavaFX scene control. And we are referencing these text fields as a txt number one and txt number two. Next, we are adding all the controls, label, text fields and buttons to our grid pan. Now it's time to check how all the control looks. because we created the stage and we haven't yet shown that to the user so we will primary stage we already created right so we will set title to the primary stage then we will show it so usually we have to add all the control after that uh, it's good to set the title and show but anyhow this is also work So if you see, the grid pan is added towards the center of the stage and if you resize it will still maintain the center location. Now I resized it and user can provide their input here. Then they can click on add or subtract. here we wrote our anonymous inner class to handle the events so that's all now event handler also ready so even handler was already explained in our previous video when we talk about button event handling. All right, now we'll build this and run this file. And if you see what's new here is we just created a two text field. Then using the get text we retrieved the content of the text and if you want to set something then you have to make a call to text number one dot set text and to the set text method you have to pass a string and the passed in string will be set to the text box now we will run this file So here I am giving 15, then 10, and when I add the result 25 is shown here, and when I subtract you will get 5. Suppose if you want to change the location of the label, this will be a result right, and first one is the column, and the column num. I am moving it to location 1 
let's uh, rebuild this once again here i am running it now if you see result is appearing here and if you want to show it here you can change the uh, row index all right and that's all here in this video thank you for uh, watching bye